Now we're gonna learn how to build a funnel chart in Tableau. Funnel charts are really great in order to show the progress of your data through different stages. So let's see how we can build that. Let's take the sales and put it in the rows. And now we want to see how the sales are progressing through the different subcategories. So let's take the subcategories from the products and put it to the colors. Now the next step, we would like to change the size of those blocks based on the sum of sales. So in order to do that, so let's take the sum of sales by holding control and put it to the size. And now let's go and switch it from standard to entire view in order to see the size of each block. And now we need to form the shape of the funnel. In order to do that, so we're going to go and sew the data descending. So the biggest one is going to be on top and then we go to the small. So in order to do that, so let's go to the subcategory over here, right click on it and let's go and sort it. And then we have to change the sort by to a field then move it to descending and that's it as you can see from the background we have now the shape of the funnel so now the next and as well the important step in the funnel chart we want to show the percentage of total for each block so in order to do that let's take as well the sum of sales and put it to the text and with that we got the total sales for each subcategory but we don't want that we want the percent of total in order to do that right click on it and let's go to quick table calculations and then let's pick the percent of total. Great. So now we have those percentages on the funnels, which is very nice in the funnel charts. Let's go and add as well the text of the subcategory. So let's take the subcategory and put it to the labels. So now we can go and customize our view a little bit where we say, okay, let's put the text of the subcategory on top of the sales. So switch the order and then let's go and change the labels and make the subcategory a little bit bigger and bold. So let's hit OK. And as well, we can go and remove those grid lines. So right click over here to the formats. Let's go to the lines and then let's go to the zeros over here and make it none. All right, so that is more clean. What we can do, we can add the category to the filter. So let's go to the category, show it as a filter. And with that, we can go and select specific category in order to see the data. So with that, we get like less blocks inside the funnel chart, or you can go and add all of them. So that's it. This is how we can create funnel chart in Tableau in order to track and check the progress of your data.